good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you are watching from and what time you are watching this course today so my name is Eze Priska I will be your mentor for the basic PHP course and I look forward to working with you guys and learning with you guys so first thing first um, before we proceed to learning the things inside PHP we should know what PHP is itself right the meaning what it stands for the definition and what it is used for and how it is used and why it is used so firstly we are going to start with what is php now what is php if you ask what does php stands for it simply stands for hypertext preprocessor now what is php itself php is a server side scripting language that allows you to develop a full stack web applications now let me go deep into it php runs on the back end of a website like it is a part of the website that users do not see you get right so php is often used to run server scripting languages that um such as um gathering information um processing data querying the database you know getting information from the database deleting extracting updating whatever it is you're doing with the database php is often used for that so now i hope you understand what php stands for and the meaning of php so let's proceed to why we use php why do we use php why do we use php now first thing first just know that php is one of the easiest programming languages to learn php is one of the easiest and it is versatile it can be used for various purposes you can use php for handling of form interacting with the database building a dynamic website you can use php to do a lot of things it is versatile you use it for a lot of things right so and then thirdly php has large community of developers and intensive documentation so it is easy to pick it up find resources and find your way around it it is easy to find help when you get stuck in some errors because there are a lot of communities that has php developers that are, that are even based only for php developers so it is absolutely versatile popular and easy to use so that is why you use php now let's move over to the nothing but the last thing we have to know about php it's uh, before we move into other things right so the last one but not the least is the role of a php role of php in web development what is the role of php in web development now php plays a crucial role in web development by enabling developers to create dynamic and interactive websites and web applications you know when i keep saying dynamic dynamic you should be wondering what is this dynamic website i'm talking about right you should be wondering that so now this is what a dynamic website is there is difference between dynamic website and static website right we have a static website when you go into a website um you just have to just scroll up scroll up scroll up if you click on anybody it takes you nowhere right let's say you, you see a website you just scroll up check it out and you click on contact us it's taking you nowhere you click on about us you click on there's nothing like register there's nothing like login that is what we call a static website it takes you nowhere you can't do any just what they've shown is what you see just scroll up scroll down that is it just like displaying information that's what static website is usually used for but now what is this dynamic website we are talking about dynamic website is a website that you come in just like lms zuri lms you go in there you could be able to register you could be log you can log in you can check you can check your track you can see your name you can submit assignments you can view assignment this is dynamic website you can do every other thing the functionalities now the php itself in there what php does in there is used to be the functionalities of that website that allows you to be able to go from one particular place to another in the website like if you want to submit um, you're in your home page you can click on where you can see task and it takes you to tax you can click on to submit it takes you to where you will submit the site php is used php is used to do what to build that 
functionalities that is what makes it dynamic a site where, can, where you can click on something text to another page and blah, blah all of those stuff is called dynamic website and php plays a big role in that it is used for that now the fact that php do all this does not mean that php is the only language that can do this no but php is used for that as well now the second one that php the second role that php plays in the web development it can you can easily seamlessly connect to databases like mysql um postgres sqlite you can easily connect to all of these databases using php it connects seamlessly with them so you can be when you connect to them you can easily interact with them get information from the database read the information from the database delete from it update the edit and all of that so in all of this gathered php plays a crucial role in web development especially the functionalities a lot of them and the more we dive into php we dive into to learn the basics of it the things you can build with php and all of that you get to realize the power of php and you get to know that you have really made a good choice in choosing php do not let anybody receive it that php is an old language no php is currently running every, almost every company is using php from what I can remember, almost every company are using PHP and its framework. So I can assure you that you've made the right and the best choice today for choosing PHP. So I hope you understood what PHP is all about because today's course and this tutorial today is meant to introduce you to PHP. I hope I was able to do that and enlighten you more on what PHP is all about. So thank you for listening. Do not forget to check for your task in the um, task session because you'll be getting a task after this video. Thank you guys and I wish you good luck in your journey of tech or in journey to learning tech, whatever or which one you decide to call it. Thank you.